Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. Wait, what are you talking about? You came to rob me, didn't you? I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. Yeah! <laughs> 
right, kid. All right, okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Go ahead. So you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims. Wait, fucked up? Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virals. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident, okay? An accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. So, you deliberately poisoned the water to kill the bandits? Uh, not quite. At least, uh, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. They'll blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. So, we got a deal? Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water from me ever again! I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian! I got my own skin to save. So that's a story you ain't going to tell.
if you please, storyteller. Oh, my favorite. A tale of heroes for our two war heroes on their special day. A story of the secret language of the Night Runners. Praise, Praise to, to the, the Night, Night Runners. Runners! But we must remember the perilous life we lead. So this reminds us of the horrors that must be faced with the brave hearts of heroes. In the before, the first year after the fall, a monster came to a city of man. Terror it sowed, and death it reaped. All fell before its maw. Life became hiding. Life became fear. Life became despair. A stranger appeared, leaping, swinging, Climbing in ways never seen before. He bore no weapons. He wore no armor. He made a promise to rid this city of the creature. This He laughed. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You leap prettily about. What shall you use to slay this creature? Hmm? Harsh language? Aye. I'm a night runner. I hold the secret language of the inhibitors. <laughs> Am I saying things? Didn't see that guy. I'm so proud. You're a dead soul. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hey, Hankel, I'm at the monument. You were right. Not much left of it. Good. Look closely. There is much more to it than meets the eye. <laughs> ah, there's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yeah. Sixty-four names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then, and the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. What happened here? That is where the riots started. People were terrified. How could they protect themselves and their families? There was massive unrest. So, a curfew was put in place. And homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding any weapons. Punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe. Shots were fired. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out. And of course, things only got worse. The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. Not just like me the cattle. Like look at that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nail the fuck. Prepare yourself. 
Saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away. Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now, you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess we'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path. Stand there and watch me. I thought that was the end of the line. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 
set up my show. My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then. Near the wall. Aiden! Aiden! What's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into a supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bizarre Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco is dead. I, I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster? Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Yeah, keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bevan what happened. Smile, then I see 